So for today, we're going to be looking at the Titan specifically. We're going to be looking at the Kogan B armor set, which if you guys don't know, this is the casual set that Eververse introduced this season. If you guys haven't seen the armor review, I'll have it up right now. We go through the, how the armor looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts on it. And it's a really good video if you guys want to like gauge if you guys want to get the armor set or not, because I do utilize all of the classes. So Hunter, Warlock and Titan, I will show you guys all of it, how it looks and hunters i've already made your video it's right here you guys can check it out we go through all of the pieces the only piece that i don't use are the arms just because i feel like the arms are really trash and same thing for this one i'm only using four pieces and the only piece i'm not using is the mark and might as well explain why i'm not using that it looks exactly the same as another mark that we have in game specifically the lux mark now i shouldn't say like exactly the same but it's almost the same vibe, if that makes any sense, because it is a mark that covers your whole left leg. And it also has like the Titan insignia there. So it's like it's the same feeling, which is why I'm like, I can I've literally already made this video, so I don't have to make that armor set again. So, yeah, if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, I really do appreciate it because a lot of people that come to my channel are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub really does help me a lot. And the channel is doing really well, and I just really want to say thank you all for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. Other than that, let's look at some of this armor. So to start off, we're going to be looking at one that I've already made before in a video, specifically the Unyielding Favor set for the Titans. I'll have it up right now so that way you guys can see that one because, again, it's basically this video where we look at all of the pieces for the Unyielding Favor, and I make some cool sets with it. Uh, this one is no different. I'm just going to be using that video or that set from that video because... It looks really cool. Let's start off. Cognit Beat Helm is such a dope helmet with the Aeon Save Swift. I don't remember what this one is called specifically because I don't have the name in front of me, but it's one of the Aeon Exotics. Looks really cool. And I'm also util utilizing the blue one, which is what the exotic perk usually everyone uses, which is the whole thing because I didn't want to use like red or green because no one uses those. So. I wanted to use a shader that specifically has blue in there, which if you guys don't know, Omnicronia actually has a blue glow, which is why I'm using it. For the chest piece, Unyielding Favor plate is such a cool chess piece for this whole set, just because it really brings everything together, especially when you use the Legacy Oath Greaves, just because it gives you that more mechanical look. For the mark, we're using the Thunderous Impact mark, just because it looks really, really cool with all of this, and it does have a blue glow, glow really really small but it is noticeable at least to me so let me know what you guys think about this one not going to talk too much about this one because again i've already made a video for this armor piece let me know as for the next set we're going to be using one item mask with the cognit beat gauntlets so this one's really cool because it kind of just came to me in a dream no i'm just kidding it just kind of came to me when i was making the armor sets uh i wanted to use more padding and i don't even know if we have more armor sets that have like that padding like look that the arms have but I decided to like just try to find something. The chest piece, I couldn't find anything that I really, really liked. So the Veritas plate was just like an easy like thing that I just threw in there because the, that chest piece looks fucking amazing. And then I remembered the Scatterhorn Greaves actually does have padding. It's not the same style of padding, granted, but I think it's close enough that it actually does look really, really cool. And then for the mark, we're using the Hardened Basilisk mark. I'm going to be real with you. You can use any mark here. It does not change like anything at all. But... I am actually really proud of this one just because the boots and the arms just look so cool together. Uh, if, if if I could like just critique it for one bit, I would just say the boots, as cool as the padding looks, that like fallen themed like thigh piece just kind of throw it off a little. But at that point, like I'm, I'm just waiting for the one eyed mask to get a fallen themed ornament, which uh, I know it's wild, but if it ever does, this whole set would look fucking cool really really proud of this one just because of the padding like i just think it looks super cool together uh, another critique i guess i could tell myself would be just to use a different shader hermit probably isn't the best one especially for leather just because it kind of gives that discoloration but i also think that's good because it kind of makes it look like leather but yeah let me know what you guys think about this one as for the next one this is going to be from another video specifically the thunderhead piece video for the titans if you guys haven't seen that one i'll have it up right now that one is really cool. We use a lot of the pieces and I'm really uh, proud of some of those pieces specifically like this one. I think this one looks super, super, super cool. Granted, you could take the helmet off and combine it with other things, but I think it's just the fact that the Cognit Beat plate with the Couturier gauntlets just looks so cool together. Uh, for the boots, Lost Pacifica Greaves with 
Mark memory of Cade Mark is like an OG look that I made a while ago. And when I say a while ago, I mean like season of the worthy, if I remember correctly, probably earlier than that. Um, I'll try to find the video if I even made a video of it, but it's an old set that I made. Let's just put it that way. So yeah, this is a, basically a casual set that I made. The, the cool, really cool thing about this one is you can swap out the chest piece for other pieces or the arms for other pieces, the boots for other. We have so many casual uh, sets that, or pieces I should say, that you can really switch out a lot of these pieces and it, it will still look really cool. The only thing that is hard to switch out would be the helmet just because the helmet, uh, we don't have a lot of casual helmets or at least casual helmets that look good. So for that, I would probably just stay, still stick with Thunderhead, but everything else is super interchangeable. And at that point, you can just really mix and match and just find whatever you like. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this one as well. And then last but not least, we're gonna be looking at the Cognet Beat Greaves. So this one is pretty interesting just because I like a lot of the pieces in this set. Granted, it looks fucking weird, but let me explain my thought process. So for the Helmet Refuge, uh, Refugee Helm, I use because I'm going for like an all cloth look all, well, almost an all cloth because the seventh set of gauntlets actually have some plate in there, but I like how they look with the ring Walker plate. I think it looks super cool together. And then obviously the Cognit B uh, Greaves have no armor in there. That has a globe, but very little. It's on actually it's on the actual boots and then midnight oil mark just because I wanted something plain, nothing too crazy. Uh, if I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, I think the only piece I should have switched out would be the ring walker plate. As much as I like how it looks as a whole, I do think like another casual set would have been way better, specifically like the Lux uh, chess piece, I think would have been a little bit better than this. But yeah, this one will probably be like the weakest one from the whole sets, just because a lot of the all of the other sets have like a cohesion to them. And this one is just kind of like I, I i i'm gonna be real honest with you man i don't even remember like my my uh initial thought process for this one it was just like i knew i wanted to use the re refugee helm just because i didn't want any plate armor in this and that's really the whole pr thought process is just i didn't want any plate armor for this which is why i'm not using a lot of plate armor if any just uh, again aside from the arms that have like what six armor pieces and that's it i have specifically plate armor so yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If I'm, if I were to choose, I would probably say the one eyed mask set is my favorite aside from the first one. Cause the first one is my favorite, but I've already shown that one. So I think then the next best one would be the one eyed mask one, just because the combination of the leather pad and the leather like knee pads, I just think it's really, really cool. Let me know what you guys think. Titans. Did I do you guys justice? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for coming up to this point. I really do appreciate you all. Other than that, be safe and I'll see you guys later.